Well, let's go in here. I might have to censor okay. this. Let's take a look at our patient. Yeah, I'm gonna have to censor it. I'll start with the external. Even the bush is freaking. Uh... The internal examination. <laughs> what the f am I doing? <laughs> Even the bush is pixelated. <laughs> oh my god. In this video, I'm going to be looking at Alan Wake 2 on my Radeon RX 6800 XT. We're using the ROG Strix Radeon RX 6800 XT. And we've downloaded the Adrenaline 23.20.17.05 driver, which is for Alan Wake 2. And we've also given the GPU a bit of an overclock, manual overclock. I've also gone ahead and paired this GPU with my Ryzen 9 5900X with 32 gigs of memory, 3600 MHz speed, CL16. And we're using the ROG Strix B550F gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. That out of the way, let's jump in the game and see how it works. Now that we're into the game, let's go through the settings and see what we're dealing with. So we're running the game at 1440p, of course. And it's also using FSR2 native. And all our settings are essentially uh, maxed out. So high, ultra, high, high. Shadow detail was on medium. So there you go. It's on high again. And let's just make sure here that's on native. Path tracing is disabled. Okay. And let's look at our performance. So we are getting around 68 FPS, which is actually pretty good here. However, I do notice a big glaring issue that is right in my face. And so I tested my RTX 4090 and 3080 Ti. The 3080 Ti specifically was in this area. And I'm noticing a lot of uh, noise. If you look at the trees and the fences, it does not look good. It looks like uh, it's on FSR balanced or something. I don't understand. Let's go through the settings again here. So it is on native. Now, this game, unlike others, does not use TAA or anything like that. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can use DLSS and FSR at native resolution as a form of anti-aliasing. So with DLSS, that's DLAA. Now that we are using an RX 6800 XT, however, we have to use FSR at native. But... I mean, I'm looking at this, and this does not look like 1440p native. You can look at the trees and how they flicker. As a matter of fact, I will put um, I will put an image and compare it with how it looks on the 3080 Ti with the same exact settings at native. This is the 3080 Ti with the same settings, 1440p native. Here's 6800 XT. You can see the flicker in the back. And 3080 Ti again. I think FSR2 is not working at native. So I don't know what's happening here, but it it doesn't look good. There's way too much flicker and and even noise in the screen space reflections. I'm not sure that that is at native resolution. I mean, I can't be 100% sure, but it doesn't look like it. There's there's quite a lot of noise. I mean, I'm sure you guys can probably see it as well. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Now, as I mentioned on my 3080 Ti video, the forest area is more demanding. And this is actually quite representative of how demanding it would be in the forest area right here. There's a lot of foliage here. And uh, I did play the game through the forest area with the 3080 Ti. And when reaching this corner here, it was the same type of FPS. And looking at this, the performance on the 6800 XT, it is actually similar to the 3080 Ti with the same settings. But again, however, I don't know if this is actually running at 1440p, even though it says it is. Because there's so much flicker and noise. And I find it confusing because Welcome back, it Anderson. shouldn't look like this with FSR. So I don't know what's happening here. But let's, let's um, just out of curiosity, let's drop FSR to quality. Let's see if anything changes. Okay, so with FSR to quality, it actually looks way better. What? Now, there is still some noise when you move, but at least sitting still, uh, the image is a lot more stable. So, yeah, I, I, I think something isn't right here. 
either they need to give us TAA to be able to use with uh, Radeon GPUs or actually um, make FSR run properly at native resolution because this um, looks more stable FSR quality than FSR native does. I mean, look at that tree right there. And as I move, you can still see a bit of flicker. But now I'm going to swap to FSR native from quality. And you'll be able to see that there's more noise. Now the tree leaves flicker even when sitting still. So do a lot of um, parts of the image. But anyways, um, it is what it is. Let's keep moving forward here and check out the surrounding area we'll we'll check out the reflections actually how they look here so the reflections do look a bit noisy but overall they look pretty good but yeah i do it does look quite noisy actually if you look at the boat and the reflections below it it does look a bit noisy okay so i've decided to take a look at path tracing because why not so I've left everything set to high and put FSR on quality. And all I've done is put path traced in direct lighting to low. Okay. And I haven't touched anything else. And we're actually getting around 48 FPS. But it doesn't feel extremely stable like if you look at the frame time it's a little bit jittery it's not it's not too bad but I'm afraid I don't know if we can go much higher than this but we're gonna try it anyway because why not so let's see if we can throw on a little bit of direct lighting and we'll leave that to low as well And we're still around 40 FPS. Yeah, it's not, it's, yeah, it, it's, it, the FPS is not great. Uh, I suppose we could try going to FSR balance, but I'm not a big fan of dropping to balance at 1440p, but we'll try it. Why not? Okay. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. 50 FPS. Yeah, in my opinion, I don't think it's really worth using um, uh, any of the ray tracing here, but that's totally up to you, I guess. I'll look around. See you in a bit. The reflections definitely don't look as good as they did on the 3080 Ti. I don't know if that's the ray reconstruction, but I mean, they look better than screen space, I suppose. So that's something. But yeah, we're going to go back to native. All right, so ray tracing is off. And I'm going to leave FSR to quality because I think native, it just makes it look worse. So there's definitely something not right there. But let's continue with the mission, actually. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. The murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the well, as we tonight, walk here, I'm so going to swap through FSR quality that we're at now we? and back to native. See, see if you guys can notice any differences. Morning, now we're at yes. FSR native. Uh, morning, Ted. And you can see a little yeah, bit of flicker really with the guy. trees. But it seems like FSR yeah, probably isn't even working at native. I think that is going to be my guess for this. Why? Because it just doesn't make any sense. Like, look at these blinds, how noisy they are. That looks like a like a CRT TV. That is really strange. Let's drop the FSR quality. Look at that. Even sitting still, it looks terrible. And this is FSR quality. So I think that settles it. I think FSR 2 at native is not working. I think it's running completely anti-aliased. Because I think that's the only thing that makes sense to me anyway. I could be wrong. But I think that's what's happening. So FSR quality is the way to go. No matter what, just use it. 
whatever the resolution you're playing at, use it. And with the 6800 XT, you'll get plenty of frames. The game still looks great. Um, unfortunately, there still is a bit of flicker versus um, uh, DLSS or running the game natively hey, with the proper anti-aliasing method. That works. But yeah, I think for now, this is like um, this is what it is, possible. unfortunately. Lead so. the way, Sheriff. Yeah, the Remedy does such a good job with these, like the ambient uh, lighting. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. Jesus. He's joking. Max Payne is uh, one crazy mofo. Morgues cheer him up. I guess that kind of makes sense for Max Payne. All right. Well, let's go in here. I might have to censor okay. this. Let's take a look at our patient. Yeah, I'm gonna have to censor it. I'll start with the external. Even the bush is freaking. Uh, the internal examination. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Even the bush is pixelated. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know guys. I think I think this is a good time to wrap it up. Um, this was the RX 6800 XT. My final thoughts are that I think that FSR 2 at native resolution is just not working because it's it's extremely noisy and the flicker is pretty bad with FSR at native because that's the only choice we have. There is no TAA or MSAA or any other form of anti-aliasing. It uses either FSR or DLSS. Now DLAA is working properly, but FSR2, I don't think it is because going to FSR quality, the image is a lot more stable than it is with FSR native. And that just doesn't make sense. We've seen FSR native work pretty good in Starfield. It works really well. So I think that's what's happening. I think FSR is not on, even though it says it is, when it's in native resolution. So, play the game with FSR on quality, and then adjust your settings depending on what type of GPU you have. If you have a 6800 XT, you'll be able to run the game just fine at 1440p by the looks of it. So, yeah. And uh, 4K, I might look at that later, but you might be able to tweak in the FSR setting. So with that out of the way, I want to thank you for watching the video this far. If you did watch it this far, and if you think I've earned it, give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, you can subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section below. I do appreciate hearing ideas from you guys. And it leads to some interesting content sometimes. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.